Hey guys, Ray again. Guess what? I got another machining video and this time it's a tiny little 4,000 pound steel roll. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So we had to repair the journals on this and the first problem that we had to solve was getting this beast in the lathe. So check it out. We skipped ahead a little bit. This is the side you saw go in the chuck, but it's uh, here to illustrate the problem. We have a wore out journal that no longer fits the bearing and we need to correct it. So the first thing is we need to take a measurement to see where we are and how far we are. And the next step would be to cut, make a first cut to provide a good surface to weld to, a nice clean substrate. You want the weld to be continuous all the way around the shaft. You don't want it to be old material and new material. So we make a cut and then we weld it up. This uh, LeBlanc, and by the way, if you're curious, it's a 20 foot long lathe and it'll swing about 40 inches uh, over the bed. So one of the problems that we have is that it won't go slow enough. If you look at the speeds, uh, if you see right there, it's six and a half RPM is the slowest speed. The fastest speed is 400 and we need to weld up the journal but uh, we need about one maybe one and a half rpm to do that and because of that we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way let me show you how we did it Here we have the welded up journal. It is hot. So the journal is welded up and ready to turn. We're gonna turn that next and get it to size. And we're also gonna skim this side here and make a shrink fit sleeve to repair the diameter that goes into the gear. that out you can see rough means rough so we've roughed that out we've got a uh, the journal started here we just need to take one more skim pass we need to get this down to size you can see how much weld it took to build it up but we are getting ready we're gonna change the tool out as you can see the tools missing out of the bar and we're going to go ahead and turn it back down and get it to size and then the fun part we got to flip it over and do it all over again on the other side Alright, side one is done and you can see how much weld we ended up putting up here. So it's almost a quarter inch, it's about a 200 thousandths is the, how much we had to build up and that's per side. 
So that's how worn out this journal was on this roll. You'll notice also that there are some little pits and dings. Well, that's a consequence of, of welding. You don't get it all 100%. However, this is an emergency job, so we gotta get it done quickly and it's gotta get turned around. So we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. This is the gear, and um, it's a small gear. As you can see, this is the face of the gear, which is about three inches. There you go, there's the whole size of it. Uh, this is the hub. It's about three inches or so in diameter, maybe two and seven eighths, I believe. So we had to bore this out because it was wore unevenly. We bore it out, we're gonna make a sleeve that fits this to adapt it to that roll, and that's coming up. So I didn't capture making the sleeve on video, however you can see it here, we're heating it up with a torch uh, because it's actually a little bit smaller on the ID, the inside diameter, than the shaft that's going to go on. And this is going to make up for the difference between the shaft and the gear. But we didn't get it quite hot enough, normally you only have one chance at this. Uh, we uh, didn't get it hot enough and we had to use a little brute force to get it on. Luckily we got it on and everything was fine. Uh, then of course the final part of the job is to make sure everything fits. So we tested the fit of the gear and we tested the fit of the bearing. Alright guys, there you see we finished the big old roll, 4,000 pounds and very expensive. Uh, all the welding you saw in the video was courtesy of Larry the Welder here, one of our guys in the shop. Thank you all for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.